Um, it's home. It's like you're, you're not just representing your family, you're representing our whole nation and especially for the culture we've grown up in. Um, we've had the opportunity to either play for one nationality or another and we chose to go back home and yeah, it's always a privilege when we get called up. Like he says, singing the national anthem, and everyone sings it with pride and so much conviction and vim. <laughs> and then like when we're on the pitch, like everyone's fighting not just for like us, not for ourselves, but like for the country as well. And it's it's a proud moment every time we get called up. It's my favourite tournament to cover. I absolutely love the Cup of Nations for the culture, the passion. There's nothing quite like it. But what does it mean playing the Cup of Nations to the two of you? Obviously, I ain't played in one before, so this is my first one. So me, for me, it's big, you know. Um, yeah, it's just a blessing. It's amazing, you know. These are things you used to dream of when you was a kid, you know, to play in big international tournaments, play in the Premier League, and, and to be able to be living in it is, is just a blessing. And, yeah, just thank God, really. Alex, you've got a bit of family history. We won't bore everyone with certain Jay. Uncle Jay, Jay. Uncle Jay. Uh, we Uncle will, but I wonder what your youngest ever memory of the Cup of Nations was. Oh, youngest. Um, well, you had Sky back then. I don't know, I definitely had <laughs> Sky. You had that little aerial <laughs> trying to fight for signal. But um, I know my uncle's won it. My uncle has won it. And I would like to at least have that to my name as well. So hopefully the next one, we've got, we've got the players, we've got the quality to do so. So... Yeah, hopefully we can do that. A little bit of family rivalry. Yeah, a little bit, man. I want to brag to him as well. Family functions. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Were you too young to remember Were you for when, when, you, when JJ won? Yeah, way too young. Way too young. What, what have you looked back at highlights from his career? What has he told you? And what are your memories of him playing in the Cup of Nations? Do you have them? Um, in the Cup of Nations, exactly no, but him playing in general, yeah, because like I used to, especially when he was at Bolton, I used to go up and watch his games and I watched him train a couple of times at the, the training ground and the one thing that, sh that really sticks to mind is how much he enjoyed football and he'd always like to express and just show off his little skills and showboat and literally entertain. Even when Sam Allardyce wasn't the manager to say, like, go express like that. But because it came off and he'll help the team create a chance or score. And he told me to do that as a kid. And it's, even nowadays, he says the same thing, like, play football with a smile on your face. So that's one thing that's always stuck by me. I don't think Sam loves a player more than you are. Yeah, you even had Sam doing the celebration. <laughs> you had Sam doing the celebration. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait and see, wait and see. We got something, we got something, we got something cooking. Yeah, you got it first. I want to ask you about um, the Super Eagles fan, probably the best fans I know to, to be travelling with at an AFCON. Do your da dance moves live up to them? Mine? No, his, yeah. I mean, nah, 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 don't put me on the spot. Mine's all right. Bro, Mine's all right. you can, you can. But we can make something work, you know. There's, yeah. there's quite, there's like there's six of us, six, seven of us. So There's a few dancers I in mean, the team. I mean, that first goal, hopefully we were able to bring out a little dance move. And yeah, it'll be good, it'll we'll be, be good. We'll be waiting for the vibe. Um, <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you, do you both have any outstanding AFCON memories, like a big memory from the African Cup of Nations for any team that you remember just watching it. Oh, we're just watching. So uh, I, wa I watched the last one, so for me, it was probably that. Um, I think Kelechi's goal, wasn't it? Oh, when yeah. Kelechi scored. And he just Bro, rifled it into the top of the net. Bro, did you see when Simon Moses took on like 20 guys? Yeah, yeah. And then Will got the goal. <laughs> that was mad. Yeah, but no, for me, like... I remember like from times when it was like Egypt and there was one guy called Zidane <laughs> for Egypt. He was a finisher and I just remember him like scoring a few goals. But Egypt's always up there, Nigeria's always up there, Senegal's always up there, so I'm trying to make sure hopefully that Nigeria's the one to win. What are your expectations of this Cup of Nations? Well, it's not gonna be easy, I know that. Um, we're in a tough group. We've got the hosts, Ivory Coast. We've got two guineas in our group, so we know it's not going to be easy. I mean, the fans are definitely going to be for Ivory Coast. 
But um, yeah, no, like I said, we've got quality players that play in competitive leagues, so I'm sure we'll do well this, this time around. And for you personally, what's your fondest memory of playing in a Cup of Nations? Um, the first one I went to, I mean, the goal that I scored to make it, um, I think it was 3-2 against Cameroon to go to the next round. Yeah, like, and we were literally like seconds away to going into the final if it weren't for the guy Rian Mares scoring a free kick. But yeah, no, that that Afcon there was definitely like something I'll cherish in, in for a long time. And in terms of going away from a Premier League season, for me, too often the narrative kills me when people start talking about, oh yeah, but the players are going to have to leave us. How important is it to your heart and your identity that people understand the absolute? significance of this tournament and the importance of it? I think, I think people who haven't been Africa will realise how big of a tournament it is. Even just like when you spoke earlier about when me and Alex, we go back to Nigeria and to play for the national team and the amount of love and, and how happy they are to see us. Like, it's, it's the, the whole country knows we're back, you know. So imagine that, but the whole of Africa, and I think it's... It's important for us, um, and of course, we're not just, as Alex said, we're not just representing ourselves and our families, we're representing a nation of 220 plus million, so it's like, it's, it's important for us, and, and hopefully we just bring a smile and joy to their faces. And looking at the team, who's going to impress us from Nigeria? Maybe the up-and-coming stars that, focusing on the Premier League, we haven't appreciated the qualities of talent for. Um, in our team, I couldn't tell you because there is so many players that I couldn't tell you who's going to start. I couldn't tell you, like, we have so many attacking players. Like, mm. uh, I don't know how the manager deals with it. It must be a constant headache. But obviously the one that everyone's looking forward to in our team is probably Victor Simon because obviously he's consistently doing his thing for, Nig uh, for Napoli. And whenever he comes to play for Nigeria, like, he's always very passionate and He's someone that knows where to where the goal is, but then again, we've got Taiwa Wani, we've got Terry Muffy, Boniface. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know how the manager's going to work it out, mm -hmm. but our striking, our attacking line is just scary right now. Yeah. Watch the African Cup of Nations on BN. <laughs>